Shogaku Khan is hunting down manga spoiler posters on YouTube. Even in Japan, where manga is readily available and doesn't require translating, manga piracy is a major problem. Yeah, most of the manga we get here that are scanlations are scanned from people who bought them in Japan and put them online. Most recently, Japanese readers have taken to YouTube to propagate manga scans, or rather pieces of them, in a method which YouTube has now deemed illegal. So this is why I'm bringing this up, because this is definitely going to blow up to more than they're making it out to be right now, and is going to hurt the uh, online anime community, and may actually knock some people out of it, uh, get their channels um, scrubbed from the platform because of a new legal thing that's come out here. Manga titles such as Shogaku Khan's Ushijima the Loan Shark have been propagating on the video sharing platform as spoiler videos in which video creators will upload key moments or major events. But instead of scanning the pages, now this is important here, instead of scanning the pages, they isolate the speech bubbles. Okay? These spoiler videos convey the new issue story without using copyrighted art, enabling viewers to follow the story without purchasing the manga while video makers avoid copyright strikes. I have to say, if you don't give a shit about the manga and you just want to follow the story on somebody's YouTube channel, I don't think that you're going to bother to buy the fucking manga if they ban the YouTube videos. Does that seem weird to anybody else? Uh, that's a very different audience. Well, they could easily just go online and get a summary of it, is what I have to say for the spoiler thing. But um, like, This is getting close to basically banning you from talking about popular culture. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, that's, that's ridiculous. So... A case was brought before Tokyo District Court yesterday by Shogaku Khan, claiming that these spoiler videos still violate copyright as they contain licensed material in the form of the manga's written word. Guess the fuck what? All you're going to do is change it so that now, rather than uploading the fucking speech bubbles, they're just going to read it to them. Okay, you're not going to change shit, and that's why this is dangerous. No, yeah, they're just going to find another way around it. They're going to find another if way anything, around it. If anything, they're just wasting YouTube money will capitulate on again. Court. YouTube will capitulate again, and then channels are going to start falling left and right because they talked about manga. I mean, okay? they can talk about manga without having the manga, but. You no, know, you, that's what I'm saying, is that is that what's going to happen is they're not going to have the manga in the video, the spoiler videos. If the speech bubbles aren't there, the person uploading the video is just going to narrate it. They're just going to make a video telling you what happened. And then those videos are going to get banned. There's only like uh, one good thing coming out of this, which is those cancer live reactions. Like the, yeah. the, only, the only couple that I've had the pleasure to see they didn't show the the actual like manga itself which is probably for the better but it was terrible terrible if you're watching it because it's like what is this they're not saying anything but yeah, um, you, you do realize that this is going to destroy anime snobs channel right <laughs> because all the people he makes videos about are going to be <laughs> are going to be banned off the platform <laughs> those channels like theoretically if there was a live react where they say nothing and they do show the pictures, then, you know, they're not getting away with freely distributing the entire, like, chapter or manga, whatever it is. That's yeah. the only good I can see coming out of it, but otherwise it's a bit overkill. So I'm going to I'm gonna yeah. reinterpret this for a minute as another possibility that actually seems, now that I've reread this, so let me, just, let me just read this real quick. The court ruled in favor of Shogaku Khan, and YouTube will be asked going forward to disclose the contact information of anyone who makes a spoiler video with or without images, very important, based on one of their properties. So a cease and desist may be issued. OK, now this was uh, ruled. The court that ruled in favor of Shogaku Khan was the Tokyo District Court. OK, this is a Japanese court, different legal system. 
it's very possible that this stuff that they're saying here about even in Japan where manga is readily available and doesn't require translating, manga piracy is a major problem. It's very possible that they're talking about Japanese YouTubers uploading the, oh. the kanji things rather than like for instance let me let me just explain real quick now first of all the japanese companies they fucking hate anybody who wants to talk about their properties they hate them okay everybody in the anti-tuber community that i've communicated with they all suffer from blatant abuses of the copyright flagging system all sorts of stuff like that uh there was something that happened to chibi reviews a couple of years ago that uh just utterly destroyed him as a person for for that one video where um he released a video of him sitting on his front porch talking into a camera with no anime clips, no manga, nothing in his hands, and that got him a copyright strike on his channel. Okay? And that's what I'm saying here. That is what they want to do. Okay? This is just like Nintendo making it so that you can't do Let's Plays of their stuff without them taking the ad revenue. Okay? Japanese companies, for some reason, don't realize how much more profitable it is when people get to geek out about the fandoms and get other people interested in their properties. Now, I get where they're coming from here regarding the spoilers and, and all that, but I'm just saying the people that are in Japan can literally just go to the damn bookstore and read the book and not buy it. They're pirates. Like no, this, no is, this is not going to stop it. If they have this passed, what's going to be funny is if they decide to release a commercial for it, it might get pinged on this new system as reliable as they are. No, the copyright it won't, flag it won't for their because own they, yeah, they aren't going to flag their, their own stuff. They will flag it if you mirror upload it, meaning you download and re-upload it to another channel. They probably will flag it that part because they are such control freaks over their properties there. Quite frankly, I'm lucky we have only been hit by Fox. You know, um, and for the record, everything that I've done on the channel is completely within my legal right. Okay. Um, I'm just saying that they are abusing the system. So I'm protected by, um, by the Sullivan Act and uh, the First Amendment uh, in the United States and fair use, right? I'm, I'm completely protected on that, but the Japanese don't see it that way. And they will issue a lawsuit, a cease and desist, followed by a lawsuit to people because what they are trying to do is intimidate YouTubers into not talking about their products, especially if you have something negative to say about them. Right. It is a it is a means it's a it's like a, a mafia style intimidation tactic to threaten you with channel termination. Right now, what may happen is that YouTube may find a middle ground where your videos will just be blocked in Japan. They might do that just simply as a way to uh, prevent more of these abuses coming in from the uh, from the copyright holders. But uh, we'll, we'll just have to see how that goes. All right. So bottom line, this is bad news um, going forward. So we'll have to keep tabs on it.